Hello, this is Kuroshiro. Okay, today we'll be watching King Cat Momo's video. I mean, I mean, we're gonna be reviewing her gameplay, of course. But uh, she asked me to review this for her, so we're gonna do it now. And then let's see. The team comp is Cowboy Forward and to um TME, and it does seem like TME is being first chase right now. So King Cat's still trying to locate as much as possible. But of course, first and foremost, if you do wear headphones, or I mean, headphones works best. But if you do wear earphones. TME shouldn't be a problem because when she strikes her cane, you should be able to uh, differentiate where she is on the map. Now then finds TME first and gets the first hit right here which is very nicely done by King Cash. So I think that was like a 20 to 30 second time used to look for the TME. Now then, if you when you're trying to loop here, right? When you're trying to loop here, that butterfly is very nicely done. That butterfly is very nicely done, but I guess it's just a little bit unfortunate. There you go. Palette stun, sadly. But I mean, like, overall, still doing really well. She has her next butterfly, though. Oof! Iron head straight towards the palette. I mean, that's that's something you need to do with balls. I will never do that against a TME, it's too scary. And let's see. Ento Cypher is a 76%, so I'd say it's a 60 second down. Exactly 60 second down. But because basement is here, it'll take at least like 10 seconds to chair, so 70 second down. Ento should be able to finish her Cypher soon. The good thing about this is we know that forward hasn't decoded, right? But we, only we know that forward hasn't decoded, so King Cat doesn't know that forward has actually decoded, only we know. Now, it does seem like Ento and forward are going to come in for the rescue together. Let's see, Ento coming in with the bees and forward is here as well. So decides to ignore the bees first, but did get a first set right there, which is nice. Okay, let's see, second on the bees. You should never ignore the bees and get the pit on forward. Now, in this situation, in this situation, you might as well try to hit the forward once again, so then when you down TME, there's no forward to rebound Kyder. Ooh, got the hit right there, and very nice- oh, oh, it's excitement. Ah, okay, I see. I mean, then that's fine overall, then that's fine overall, then that's fine overall, then that's fine overall. Uh, there- I mean, TME wouldn't be able to kite for so long, because Geisha can just stick her butterfly here, so then, like, just choke the TME. This area goes through that area. The site's a long hit. Uh, and gets another pallet stun. This is a successful rebound kite. I mean, by here. I'll actually show. I'll actually show. So what could have been what could have been done better right here is see how you're getting ready to throw the butterfly out, right? So instead of you instead of you keep walking towards this pallet, if you can see my cursor. You should have like, you should have like, it's best if you just stayed at this front pallet here. So then like, you can trick TME into thinking whether you're running left or right, right? If, hypothetically speaking, you dash towards the butterfly that you placed down, you could have downed TME there immediately. But under the assumption that they didn't do that, what would be best here, what would be best here is to be a little bit more careful with the pallet, because sadly it's a TME at the end of the day right and the second the second choice here was if you got a if you got a stun there the second choice there was you stand here you know you don't you don't go towards that pallet you just stand here and mind game the tme into vaulting if she doesn't vault then you control a butterfly dash and then hit her and it'll become a terror shot because tme can't vault that fast but if she does vault you can just walk straight towards the tme wherever she vaulted which would be a better idea but got stuck here a little bit got stuck here a little bit because i think i was panicking Strikes the cane once again. Healing. The good thing is Ento and Forward are healing. That's the only good thing about this. And then closes the distance between herself and TME, which is not bad at all. The only the only problem there, I guess, was the choking point. You need to know how to choke survivors in certain areas. Now then tries to look for the tries to look for the the forward. I mean she's being it's very well done here that she's actually looking at the forward wherever the forward is. Does not see the forward, but does see the Ento bees right there. Dashing up would be the right choice to do here. I mean, uh, never mind. Timmy actually came down. But what I would do is, what I would do is to save time and just to make sure you know what you're doing. Right? When you're when you're up here, and then you get tinnitus. If you walk straight towards forward there, and there's no tinnitus, then that means forwards on the other side. Right? He's not on near the tenth side of the map. He's near the merry-go-around side of the map. So once King Cat still has tinnitus here, 
then you'll know that Fo is actually at this direction. So if she wants to be a little bit more safe, throw one butterfly out near the TME and then so then you can immediately pick her up. Right? So like forward's ball isn't fast enough for you to pick up the to like you know cancel the cancel the uh, balloon rescue. So yeah, so now here is you can see two uh, here as we can see two ciphers remaining. The last cipher is on cowboy because Ford really hasn't decoded at all, which is a nice thing. Now then, Dash is up, sees the footprints. Sorry, and it does seem like Ford wants to rescue. To be fair, to be fair, what I would do here is the moment you see footprint and you see where Ford is, you're gonna immediately force the rescue. Whether they have tied or not, it's better to force rescue, right? Because like your excitement is definitely ready, so you don't need to be scared. What you're gonna do is you're gonna force the rescue so then like they don't have time to decode because TME can stay on chair for 30 seconds, right? That's 30 seconds extra for them or end of the common harass as well, the body block, which is very hard for Geisha to do anything about it. So then like the best choice to do here will be to force will be to force forward to rescue first because he came early and you know where he is. But here as we can see forward but I mean like King Cat was playing really safe. Sometimes you gotta play it safe sadly. Here as we can see Ento came as well. If 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 the Geisha decided to force the rescue then Ento couldn't have come on time. Right? So now we have a situation where there's a triple body block, which definitely sucks and gets a palace stone right here sadly. I mean, this is the problem with single hit hunters that I dislike the most. It's when they start body blocking. If you don't have like efficiency with you know with your curved hitbox, we're hitting in a curvy position. This is gonna keep happening, which is why I prefer playing sculptor more, even though like there is this you know cipher rush potential and you have a bad chase. Geisha has a really good chase, so when you can get the hit, you take the hit, right? You don't need to be afraid. You don't need to be afraid. Unlike BQ, BQ has chase, but BQ's chase is more considered as a perfect chase. Geisha is more of a rapid chase hunter, right? Geisha can throw butterflies 8 seconds later, next butterfly ready. BQ though is 30 seconds, which is why he's considered more as a perfect chase hunter than a rapid, cha a rapid chase hunter. Now then, didn't get the hit there sadly, but Endo did get rescued. Map controlling the last cipher would be the best idea. Uh, King Cat definitely saw the cipher amount, so he knows that he can come out to look for TME and such. But if she wants, there'll be an immediate abnormal. If she wants, there'll be an immediate abnormal. Now then, getting the Ento down first. I'd say, I say, look at the cipher and start abnormaling it. Oh no, never mind. Decides to excitement first, which isn't such a bad idea. Ooh, didn't get the hit right there. Ooh, okay, this is gonna be fun to see. Okay, gets it on TME. TME will be returned to the mainer if if Geisha can get the TME down, depending on who Geisha wants to go, go for first. Ento is probably the best choice, because Ento has no more bees left. Ooh, very nice flywheel though. Very nice flywheel though. There's not much I can critique about it, except for like learning how to ch suffocate or choke some points. So survivor can't vault, or even when they vault at that location as Geisha, you can immediately dash and hit. If they slow vault, of course. But here, as you can see, doing a very nice job, TME will be returning to the mainer. I mean, sharing, sharing, Ento first would be a good idea. It wouldn't be such a bad idea. Ento first share wouldn't be such a bad idea. And then, like, you'll share TME towards the back gate. Because she'll be returning to the mainer anyway, so you know where forward is. This is a location that us new hunters can use. See how forward is coming right now. Yeah, King Cat's doing a really good job here. Really, really good job here. Cause if King Cat decided to chair like not at that direction, then forward could have backdoor rescue. So that was really nicely done. That's a very nice decision there made by King Cat. Very nice decision there. And then that's the end of this video. I will see you all in the next one for the member submissions. Bye bye for now.